Hey guys, so Iron Sharpens Iron Fitness, Coach Chris and Mikal here once again. We have another person who has completed our challenge and dominated, mm -hmm. uh, Anieli. So how are you? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> um, so what were you struggling with prior to the challenge? I know that you're uh, a nurse, so maybe you can talk a little bit about that. Well... I mean, as we all know, we're in the middle of the COVID crisis, so that um, added stress to an already stressful job, and plus working night shift is another transition that makes things difficult to, you know, because people's 3 p.m. is my 3 a.m., you know, so that's another thing, like getting my sleeping schedule on track and eating meals when I'm supposed to be eating meals and you know trying to time everything out was something that I've been struggling with but um with the program it made it a little bit easier because I have to think less about what I'm eating and I it's kind of one less thing <laughs> to like stress about because at least that part is taken care of um but yeah just the stress of that's my biggest struggle just trying to work through the stress and not let the stress work through me. <laughs> All right. That's a good point. You had, um, so you, for a good part of it, you were working out of a hotel room because you were actually quarantining yourself. Uh, so yeah. what was it like doing the workouts there and your equipment and whatnot? <laughs> um, well, it was, it was a struggle. I ended up having to buy a hot plate and a pot so I could make my meals and uh it's a hotel room so there's not much room but there was a small little sliver of like space that I was able to work in and you definitely had me working out with a towel I was like yeah, <laughs> no, that's not gonna hurt like it's gonna be easy no <laughs> you made that towel work out work <laughs> Yep. Uh, you didn't have any equipment available except for a towel, pretty much, and a chair, right? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, we made yeah. it work. <laughs> she did all of that with a towel and a chair. In a hotel room, you yeah. utilize that. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Um, so what results were you able to see from the program? From the program, I was able to um, see that it's not that hard to eat healthy. <laughs> being lazy. <laughs> call myself out on that one but um other than that like I just found myself more like unable to make excuses because before I'd be like oh I don't I don't I don't have a membership for a gym I can't work out I don't have the time I don't have this and like with the program it's like it's like yes you do like <laughs> get it together <laughs> stop making excuses so, um, yeah, I was able to actually make time for what I wanted and my goals and stuff like that. And I was able to make it possible. Yeah. And, and how are your clothes fitting and all? Oh, my clothes, they're not as tight anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they're not as tight because, you know, you try to get into the the, the skinny jeans and they don't want to close now they finally close <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah make your towel <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, right. make your towel for that one mm -hmm. uh, um so what were your okay so coming into the program we said this the struggles were your time and then there was eating habits that needed to be broken yeah. And um, your mindset also changed. What was your mindset coming in and what's your mindset now? My mindset coming in, honestly, I was a little pessimistic. I was like, oh, this isn't going to work, but I'll give it a try. You know, I'll give it 110%. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And, you know, it, you just roll with it. But now I'm actually surprised that I was able to do it and that I followed through and that I got the the results that I wanted and now I have kind of like a foundation from where to go and I and I know what I'm capable of and where I can like progress and 
I feel better about myself. And how's the confidence? How's the outlook? Your outlook is a lot better and your confidence yeah. is a lot better. And my confidence, my self-confidence more than anything is, is stronger because, you know, you look at yourself in the mirror and it's like, who is that? And I, when I was younger, I was always a skinny one. I was the stick. I was literally this skinny up until like senior year in high school. And then it's just like, whoop. and it's, I've just kept gaining weight since. And I, like, I look at myself in the mirror sometimes and I'm like, who is that? That's not who I remember myself being. So being able to lose some of this weight and physically see a difference in my body, it's a big confidence boost. Good. Yeah, that's awesome. And um, so what was the, the, what was the biggest surprise takeaway from the program? The thing that you didn't expect was going to give you as much of a return on value? The workouts. (laughs) (laughs) I never, I never thought I'd be able to do more than five push-ups, but here I am. (laughs) Pushing it, getting it. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, and um what else do you think in the beginning what other stuff were you struggling with with the workouts and then now it's like yeah you can do push-ups what else can you do that you can continue oh gosh I can action I can actually do squats correctly <laughs> <laughs> squats correctly um I oh my gosh your quad smashers I hate them but I'm able to do them a little better um just like my endurance has um bettered I I would just honestly going up one flight of stairs and I was out of breath and now my where I work I work on the third floor I tend to take the stairs now to take the healthier option and I don't feel as out of breath as I was before good and I've been doing a lot more walking and stuff like that, trying to live a more active lifestyle. And I've been seeing it in return. Like I've, awesome. seen, the, the results, I've yeah. seen your cardio pictures. It's beautiful up there. Yeah. He's jealous. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Florida is nice, but you kind of want to see, you know, things like where you're at. Because sometimes Florida can be just. Flat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> flat and palm trees. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what would you tell anyone who's like on the fence about, you know, joining and doing now our 90 day program since we're moving ahead to 90 days? Uh, what would you tell somebody who's on the fence? Um, I would say to invest in yourself. That's basically what it comes down to. Um, you got to believe in yourself. And if you want to see change you have to be the change so you have to change your mindset change your goals you know change what needs to be changed in order for you to reach what you need to do awesome no some real good insight because you got to be able to want to invest in yourself if you don't invest in yourself then no one's going to invest in you exactly that's what we saw with you you were willing to invest in yourself and it made it a lot easier to coach you yeah if you want it where there's a will there's a way Mm -hmm. you know not to be cliche but it's true it's true i mean you got a hot plate you bought yourself a pot you did (laughs) your workouts in like five feet of room inside of a hotel with nothing but a towel and a chair Mm -hmm. and you were able to blow some some turn some heads around with your results so i mean it's pretty awesome yeah um, I think it's really awesome that as a healthcare worker, you're taking care of others and, you know, there's COVID patients that, you know, you were exposed to that you had to deal with. And then also, you know, being able to just pour into their lives, making sure that they're okay. Sometimes healthcare workers that are on the field all the time, they forget about themselves. They, yeah. they don't invest in themselves, but you being able to say, you know what, I think it's time for me to start focusing on myself too. As you even focus on others and their well-being, it's really like you deciding that was a really great decision to take care of yourself as well. Yeah. 
So we, we are proud of you. I mean, yes. seriously, when I found out that you were in the, in the hotel and that's what you were going to do, because that's what the hospital prescribed you with, right? You said yeah. the hospital was like, this is where you can stay. But you, you kit, like you literally killed all the workouts and continued and pushed through. Like you get off work, mm -hmm. you're tired. You know, tell us one day that you struggled with, like share a story about like maybe you struggled during the time after work or, you know, your struggles with that. Well, um, I've been one of our nursing homes that is close by the hospital. They had a serious outbreak of COVID. So the hospital took in a lot of their people and a lot of the, well, it's a veterans, it's a soldier's home. So it's a lot of elderly veterans and we took in a whole bunch of them and you know, as time progressed, more and more of them kept coming back positives, positive. So I was working mainly with the positive veterans. So it's stressful because, you know, they're older and based on the statistics, they, it wasn't going to be a good outcome. And a lot of them did end up passing. And um, one, one of them actually ended up passing during my shift and you know, I had to go home to the hotel afterwards. I showered, I took a quick nap. And I, when I woke up, cause I set an alarm for the workout, I woke up and I was like, I really don't want to do this today. Like, cause mm -hmm. you know, you just, you're just drained emotionally and it's not easy to push through that sometimes, but I was like, no, you have to put yourself first sometimes too. Yeah. You can mourn, because, you know, you make a connection with these guys and right. they're joking and laughing one day and then not the next. And it's a hard transition. But I was like, you have to do this for yourself. You have to get past it. You have to get through it. Today is, is a new day and there's more blessings to come. Even though there's been some bad, there's always light at the end of the tunnel, you know? So I pushed past it and I did my workout and I was sore later, but <laughs> I just took a cold shower and went back to sleep. <laughs> Slept it off. <laughs> yeah, the cold, the cold water quench. Yes. Has that become a favorite now? <laughs> yes, especially after doing cardio or doing any type of workout. I just stand there under the cold water and I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's relax now. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, would there is there anything else you'd want to add to, uh, you know, uh, the floor is yours. Anything you want to say before we uh, sign off? No, I just wanted to thank you guys for believing in me and pushing me <laughs> mm -hmm. past my point sometimes. But I really do appreciate you guys and everything you've done for me. Yes, absolutely. And that's exactly why we do it. Um, and I'm not going to point at anybody who may or may not have puked during a workout are you another <laughs> victim <laughs> <laughs> yep i texted him afterwards and i'm like fun fact i just threw up all the water that i drank during our workout <laughs> <laughs> oh man so it's another successful day another mm -hmm. successful client <laughs> puking on me <laughs> i know you know it's successful when they puke Yes. I'll tell you one quick, I'll tell you one quick thing before we sign off. I had one training day where I was literally training a guy on, uh, huh. over Zoom, just like you. Um, and Mikal was morning sickness puking. <laughs> then the dog walked out, the dog vomited right over here. Oh, no. I'm like, Brian, you better not vomit on me because I don't <laughs> need this from all three sides. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done with Annie Ellie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, enough puking. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that was a great job. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, we are proud of you. Yes. Thanks. So, remember, I'm Coach Chris. This is Coach McCall. <laughs> Make moves, not, not excuses. excuses.